Hi, I'm Cam and welcome to my channel, Sugar Mama TV. As you guys know, I incorporate a minimalistic philosophy into my life. I like clean surfaces, I like order, I like things to be put away where they belong, things to be organized, nice and tidy, and just have, like create a really nice, clean, tranquil home. Well, Physio Tom has formally and officially moved in. His stuff has always been kept at his place. Um, but now he's rented his place out. So that means all his stuff has turned up and arrived. Conveniently, he's gone to Hong Kong for work for the weekend. Now, he said to me before he left, just leave all this, I'll deal with it when I come home. But very clever, Tom. He knows how OCD I am and how anxious I get with clutter. And he knows full well that he will come back and this will all be sorted and put away. So. I'm gonna make a vlog and I'm gonna get Frankie. She's just decided she doesn't wanna go down for a nap. So her and I are going to declutter her father's stuff. All right, so I've got Giuseppe and I've got Frankie helping me out and we are going to tackle one suitcase at a time. But to show you the type of crap that I'm dealing with, we have a smashed iPad. So look, check out the holes. Like I'm all for being frugal. But really, Tom, why would anyone keep broken sunglasses? Like, seriously, I know just if you But I'm gonna take it one suitcase at a time, not to overwhelm myself. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna start three piles. I'm gonna start a pile of things that definitely need to be thrown out. I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna start multiple piles. Things that definitely need to be thrown out. Things that could be recycled or given away. Things that can be sold and things that I need Tom to actually stand up and take ownership of and deal with. Suitcase number one, flippers, books, duplicates, two books, the same books. There's probably more in here. Tom actually was Winx's physio. Oh, we do actually need this, it's a heater. Uh, more duplicates. Oh my God. Stuff that could be sold. All right, so as soon as I find something where I know where I could put it in my house and it will belong, I'm putting it straight away. I wanna try and create as much space as possible and get things into their rightful home or place where they can belong. Want to know how much of a hoarder I'm dealing with? Who has five toothbrushes? And that's not even including the toothbrushes he's got going on at my house. Another example of crap that Tom collects, a 2017-18 golf diary. Oh my God. Oh my God, the stuff is just, every Ooh, what is that? Everywhere, I'm like, kill me now. I have no idea where I'm gonna find a home for all this stuff. All right, so we've had a bit of a breakthrough. I am linking all the common items together. So Tom has got a whole pile of scuba diving stuff because he's such an avid scuba diver. So I've grouped it all together with his scuba diving shoes, his wetsuits, his certificates, all his stuff. And I've also found a plastic bag here. So I'm gonna put it all together in here. And then I found a really cool spot where I'm going to store this. I've also been slowed down a bit because somebody wants a cuddle all the time. <laughs> That's okay though. It looks like I'm down a man. My little helper is starting to fall asleep again. So she's gonna go back to her cot and I'm gonna keep powering through these suitcases with two hands. Hopefully she is down and fingers crossed I have about 90 minutes to get as much of this job done as possible. All right, I told you I have to be resourceful because literally this house is bursting at the seams. We don't have any more storage space. So Tom's scuba diving equipment, which is safe to get wet can go under the barbecue. So I almost have one suitcase done and I'm actually really dehydrated. This is exhausting. I've gone up and down the stairs so many times, but I can now see another pile of common things I'm gonna join, join together. That is Tom's work stuff. And like, this is just showing you how like messy he is. 
I have a massive two litre or three litre, a five litre tub of gel for Tom's work, but the lid is missing. So I can't even really safely store this away. We've got ice packs everywhere. We've got gel packs. We've got paperwork forms, keys, like, whoa, I just, it just goes on and on. And just when I thought I had tackled one suitcase, I then discover there's a whole pile of other stuff hidden down in here, which are all Tom's bathroom products. One suitcase done. I'm now taking it outside to help create more space and give a sensation of actually making progress so I feel inspired and motivated to keep going. So as I'm putting away all of Tom's like bathroom products um, and I'd like to point out um, four tubes of toothpaste here, I'm trying to focus on the positive thinking okay well this actually saves me money because I'm not going to need to buy certain products for quite some time because we have duplicates of just so much stuff. Keeping positive mindset. So in my perfect minimalistic no clutter world in my bathroom would be shampoo, conditioner and then body wash. Um, now look how many products I have but again focusing on the positive thinking I'm not going to need to buy bathroom products for quite some time. I've got plenty of shampoo, probably about a year's worth of shampoo, a year's worth of conditioner, two years worth of body wash. Staying positive with all this excess stuff building up in my life, in my home. Oh. Suitcase number two. More clothes. More, more. How many of these do we need? So it turns out, actually, for suitcase number two, it was predominantly my spare clothes that I keep at Tom's. So suitcase number two can now go outside to help create more space show me more progress da, 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 da. suitcase number three now I can tell this is the bad boy it is literally busting at the seams with a whole pile of crap including a really old laptop another smashed iPad. How old is this laptop? Whoa. Um, this is a onesie of a cat. Uh, Tom, he's 40 years old. What is he doing with this? So I'm actually going to take suitcase number three outside just to create some more space because check out the pile behind me of stuff that I need to sort through. Even Sophia is horrified. But even as a minimalist and a declutterer, I am feeling really overwhelmed by this. So what I've decided is I'm just going to work from the front to the back. I'm going to slowly just take piece by piece and work my way through from here all the way to the back and then finally with the books and then I will officially be done. Surely he's not gonna notice if I give this away or throw it out. Actually, I feel bad. I'm gonna let him decide what happens to the cat outfit. Brand new shirts with tags on and I'm pretty sure I actually bought him this one. Matching socks. This is a rarity for Tom. Woohoo! Oh, another pair. Socks. Oh my gosh, I have been looking everywhere for this. This is the swimsuit that I manifested when I was doing Manifesting March. I actually really wanted to buy this, but it was so expensive. And then randomly, my girlfriend had it, that I didn't even know she had it, and gave me her piece because she said it didn't suit her. See, another blessing that comes from decluttering and organizing and minimizing your home. Um, look how clean my space is. It's, I'm getting there, I'm making progress and Frankie is still asleep. All right, so from going through this stuff, I swear I've picked up allergies, like my eyes are so itchy from all the dust, from being on the ground and from going through all these old clothes. 
So I've actually got a pile here of things that definitely can be thrown out. The moment I came across something that I knew Tom didn't need or want, I took that executive decision and I put it, bagged it up and it's going in the bin. Then over here, I've got all the books. Now I actually have a community library in the area that I live in. So I'm gonna go and drop these books off because I know Tom has read them and he has no intention of rereading them. And then over here, I have some stuff, electrical goods, hair dryer, I smashed iPads, I actually also have a smashed iPad, that I'm gonna go and sell on Gumtree. Even if it's just for parts, I just don't really care. I'd rather it be sold, it's got nothing to do with the money, but it's better that it goes to someone who can sell it and reuse it even for the parts, than go into landfill. And over here, I have stuff for Tom to go through to decide whether he wants to get rid of them, including the shoes with lots of holes. So, you know what? That is pretty good. Frankie's still asleep. I'm feeling really proud about myself. And now I'm going to put my feet up and read my book.